Did you know that 2014 is going to be a great year for people with diabetes? I feel it. Hello Nation, 2014 is going to be a great year for people with diabetes. There's never been a better time to have diabetes. I know that sounds goofy, but we have lots of new things and advances on the horizon. Let's talk about type 2 diabetes. We have nine different types of oral medications now to treat type 2 diabetes. And we can use them together, we can mix and match. The latest one being the class called SGLT2 inhibitors. And those are Invokana and the brand new one, Forziga. These are drugs that you take once a day. They lead to weight loss. They don't cause hypoglycemia. And they have very few side effects. These are perfect. And it's awesome to be able to have choices when we treat people with type 2 diabetes. Now, what about insulin pumps that are specifically designed for people with type 2 diabetes? And we also have newer insulin formulations like U300 Lantus. That's a Lantus that's very concentrated so that you don't have to use too much volume and it acts very smoothly. And Novo has a, a long-acting insulin called Degladec. So these are all advances for people with type 2 diabetes. Now in 2014 we're also going to see uh, ways to use these medications in combination. We have lots of medications, but we don't really know what's the best order for efficacy, safety, and tolerability, meaning how low a side effects do they have. Now lastly, there's a class of agents that are injectable, GLP-1 agonists, we also call them incretins. You know these drugs by Victoza and by Durion. These are the most impressive class of oral agents I've seen in a long time. Why? They lower the blood sugars a ton and they lead to statistically significant weight loss. That's basically a doctor way of saying, hey, it's not just by chance, you really lose weight on these drugs. So we're going to see different formulations. We already have Bidurion, which are once a week. Then we're going to see once monthly and believe it or not, there's an implantable micro pump full of these drugs that once you put it under the skin in a really a 15 minute procedure, it lasts one year. So you will never have to worry about taking your medication on time or daily. Just once a year, replace this little micro pump, a company called Intarsia. And basically, we now have so many fantastic ways to get your blood sugar down, and it's important that you need to know about them. Now, what about type 1 diabetes? We're going to see lots of advances. First of all, glucose meters are going to get smarter. We're going to input data that we typically put in an insulin pump, your insulin to carb ratio, your correction factor, and it will help you calculate your dose and it will have a metabolic memory. What does that mean? It means it'll remember what you did in the past with certain types of food and a certain insulin dose and your response and it'll help you adjust your dose based on those individual factors and not just off the top of your head, how much insulin should I give? The pumps are going to get smaller, they're going to get easier to use, and we're going to get dual chambered pump, one for insulin, one for glucagon. So it'll be awesome. We'll be able to treat both highs and lows with the same pump. Now, CGM devices, you know, I use a Dexcom. I love it. And the, the Gen 4 is fantastic, much better than the 7 Plus, the previous generation. Medtronic also makes an excellent sensor. Now, these sensors are going to get better and better and better. And we'll be able to use them in the last advance that I'm going to talk about today. The bionic pancreas, also called the artificial pancreas, uses a trio of three things. Currently available insulin pumps, currently available continuous glucose monitors, and computer algorithms that take the blood sugar that you get every five minutes take individual characteristics, your weight, your blood sugar, prior experiences, and direct your pump to either give you insulin when your blood sugar is going up or glucagon when your blood sugar is going down. So think about it. Living with type 1, you can go about your day, eat anything you want at any time, 
exercise as much or as little as you want, three, four times a day or not at all, and without even having any input to calculating what you need, your blood sugars stay between 80 and 180 or even a more narrow range. And think about that. Now, is that a cure for type 1? No, but it's a damn good substitute and it will bridge the gap until we come up with a real cure, which will be an immune-based anti-autoimmune uh, you know, therapy. So remember, 2014 is going to be a fantastic year. You have the main responsibility for taking control of your diabetes. You need to be smart and be persistent, and you are your own best advocate. So long, nation.